Astronomy is a very difficult subject to teach. Um, we cannot actually feel the Earth rotating every 24 hours, and um, we can't actually tell that the Earth is actually orbiting the Sun. If we can actually simulate it in a planetarium, then you're basically accelerating all those movements, and um, you can actually produce an ultimate simulation of the whole solar system. The edge. A portable planetarium is an effective and popular way to explore the solar system and beyond, in line with classroom study. Now, my name's Mr. Bassett, and, uh, but if you like, you can call me Mr. Starman. It's entirely up to you, OK? What I'm going to start off with, though, is I'm going to show you this model, and I'll get to the flashy bits in a minute. Just be patient with me. OK. Now, first of all, what's this bit supposed to be? The sun. sun, brilliant. Now, what do you actually know about the sun? What do you actually know about it? Put your hands just one thing at a time. The sun stays in one position and all the planets go around it. Well done, it does. The sun is at the centre of the solar system. The sun's a big ball of gas. OK, one more thing about it. It rotates. It actually spins roughly every 27 days. And see those dark markings on there? Do you know what they're called at all, by any chance? They look like spots on the sun, don't they? Yes. So we call them? Craters. Right, not actually craters, because they're made of gas. So you can't actually get craters on something that's made of gas. But they are called sunspots. These are cooler parts of the sun. They're not cold, they're just cooler than the rest of it. That's why they appear dark. Brilliant. Anyway, the moon orbits the Earth like this once a month, roughly, and we both do this. Whee! We both orbit the sun. Now, what about the names of the planets? What's the nearest one to the sun? Mercury. Mercury, well done. And the white one? Venus. Venus. And you're sitting on it, yeah? Earth. Anyway, now we've got the red one. Mars. Mars. And the biggest? Jupiter. Jupiter. Excellent. They're more likely to know all about Jupiter than they are to know how to get the bus into Luton. Okay, and we are on.